Hey guys, up, Andrew, and today we are going to play some Castle Wars, always my favorite mini game. I've made lots of Castle Wars videos in the past, but it's been almost a year, so I figured let's try out some new gear, some new, new toys, and uh, have some fun with this. So today we got a couple things. I bought I bought the Elder Mall. I tried this at Vedion initially, and I don't think it's any better than the Bludgeon, unfortunately, but of course it'll be fun for PvP. And I got my Dragon Claws back. Might not keep these super very long. Tried some more rushing with them. Um, didn't have much success, but I still might um, keep them for a little while, we'll see. If I want to get a Twisted Bar or not, then these will definitely be one of the first things to go. But Elder Maul, we can talk a little bit about this. It's got an insane strength bonus. I think I have the highest strength you could possibly have in Castle Wars. I don't see any opportunity for more, uh, but I could be wrong. You can't have the cape or the hat in uh, Castle Wars, of course, so the fact that I don't have an Infernal Cape yet doesn't matter. So we have 188 melee strength and 164 crush, which can definitely um, do some damage. The only thing I will say about the Elder Maul is that the accuracy is kind of low. So if we look at a God Sword, and all the God Swords have the same stats, um, I actually have just three less accuracy bonus. So that's um, 164 crush versus 161 slash. And I think if the Elder Maul was to be buffed, and it probably should be, the accuracy could definitely be buffed, especially when you look at my gear here. Uh, the slash bonus is much lower than the crush defense with at least bandos, which is very common. So actually the Elder Maul, if you were attacking me with it, would actually be less accurate than the God Sword, which is a little unfortunate. But uh, it can definitely do some damage, a lot more strength than the God Swords there. 15 more that should be? Yep, it is. Um, my math definitely is okay right there. Um, so yeah, we should definitely have a lot of fun. I have been playing Castle Wars for like 12 years or so, and I still have no idea how to pick the best team. Obviously you want to look for the team with the most mages because it's really what's important. Also flag runners like this guy is also important, although he's kind of a low level, so you never really know. Make sure you have your Castle Wars Brace on though. This gives you more damage against the flag holder. Um, a couple other things, but the main thing it gives you is double HP from the bandages, which if you're attacking or defending, you definitely need. Uh, so speaking of playing Castle Wars for a long time, I will tell you guys that when I used to play this game back in the day, every single square was occupied by people. And most of them were noobs, like there weren't many 126s. It was If you saw a 126 back then, it was like a big deal. But at the same time, there was someone literally every single square of the waiting room, there was people. So unfortunately we don't have that anymore, but there has been good updates to Castle Wars, um, such as the Avis Accumulator update with the Castle Wars cloak. Um, which makes it act as an Avis Accumulator. That's a very nice update. So the game is definitely not dead, but it, it used to be more popular. I think uh, people do focus too much on like efficiency and stuff to just play games like Castle Wars nowadays, but there's still a decent amount of people, and I think we have a good shot at winning this game. I wonder what the winning percentage is, is for Zami versus Sarah. I know there's a, if you can view like a board outside, which might give you that information, I'm not sure, but I feel like Zami tends to win more often, but I could be wrong. But um, anyway, I have a range switch here, Crystal Bow, which you might think is newbie, but it actually has the same range bonus as the um, Armadale Crossbow. You can't use a shield, but it shoots a lot farther, and the ammunition is really cheap to recharge. And really good update a couple years ago with Nightmare Zone, you can imbue it so it doesn't lose its stats. And this will shoot pretty much like almost across this entire room. So I don't need a tinderbox here, but let's quickly get some bandages. So because we're defending, I want to grab some explosive potions to quickly get some of these out of the way because a very common strategy when people are escaping is they'll put down a barricade as they're running and anyone attacking them will be kind of cut off so you definitely want to have these ready so grabbing one of these for yourself is also not a bad idea but you really have to pick before you play if you're going to play for the win if you're going to defend or attack with this amount of gear for example i'm no no way i'm going to try to get the flag because i have such a little room for bandages so not much really going to happen in the first minute here because it takes a little while for people to show up, but you always got to be ready. And here we go. Um, I didn't, forgot to set my quick prayers or my attack options, so we should do that right now. Um, that I'll have to do for right now. We attack this guy. Or actually, as long as hidden is off. So what I usually like the quick prayers to be is, and I think we can attack this guy real quick here, is these piety and uh, also smite. Preserve you can throw on just because it has such low prayer chain, and I bring a super combat, which it's kind of weird bringing potions into castle wars, but it's probably worth it if you have the money. 
And I'm just gonna make sure we do our damage. We could actually probably kill this guy right now. Um, let's just try a claw spec here to finish him off. That could do it. That definitely did a lot of damage, and boom, he's dead, so. And it's good to bring multiple combat styles, so I have my range here. This was also an update that wasn't always here, the altar. This gives you four prior points per, like, every other tick or so, if you're 99 prior, which is really nice. I always hate people who, like, destroy these barricades because they're too lazy to just go around. I like how the altar doesn't recharge your prayer right away. It's kind of strategic in a sense that, like, you don't know exactly, or you know exactly, but... What I'm trying to say is, like, um, you can't just recharge your prayer right away. And wow, there's a whole sh shit ton of things going on down here. Um, and I'm frozen, unfortunately. I like the frozen timer on OS Buddy a lot. This is probably the reason I switched from the normal client. And holy shit, I don't even know where to begin here. Probably that guy is the guy we want to focus on. Okay, that was just one on the ground. And what I could actually do, I'm pretty sure, is shoot this guy from here. Or he ran away, so not quite. But holy shit, there's people coming by. And you have to always click around the barricades. I'm just going to burn... Oh, damn, God damn it. That guy's kind of a distraction. So I have the ZGS back here if I need it, but it looks like our flag is still available. Oh, I just forgot to switch weapons. We're gonna... It's funny, before I took a break, I was very not used to using a hotkey on my mouse for the prayer book. Um, now that I've come back, I've had no problem using it. My setup is I have the escape key as inventory, F1 is the attack styles, and F3, F2 rather, is the magic book, and then I have a mouse hot, thumb button hotkey as my prayer book. I think something a lot of people don't know as well is these give run energy, quite a lot of it, so it's good to always restock on your run energy. You don't have to really worry about um, run energy in Castle Wars because of that. Let's take a look if anyone's down here. So, because it really is, in the game, harder to steal the flag than it is to defend it, um, a lot of these games do end up a 0 0. Sorry, the XP counter is kind of covering that, but um, nice little KO there. It's definitely very hard to capture the flag if there's a lot of people defending it, because if you get barrage, you're there for 20 seconds. Should be able to kill this guy right there. Nice, 53. That's the nice thing about the Elder Mall, you can really get those big KOs. Although I think we're going to be frozen here. No, I, get, I don't know why we can move there. Here's an example of the Elder Mall. I mean, uh, the Crystal Bow. Just shooting wherever you really like. Now you have to pick lock this door if you're not on this team to open it. I wonder if that depends on your thieving level. I imagine it does. So a lot of people like to fight out here. You have to be careful though if you're really focusing on the win because you don't want to uh, get distracted when people are coming for the flag. This guy we can mow down. Look how far this shoots. We can even move a square away if we want a long range. Um, sometimes it works out a little weird, but I should be able to shoot from that far and make quick work of these guys. And boom, didn't even need the extra hits there. Still getting used to um, this desk and everything for like the way the mouse feels on it. But that guy is not going to go for the flag, so we don't have to really worry about him. And the flag is actually... I can't see because OS Buddy, we should probably disable that. The um, current levels here. Okay, it is safe. OS Buddy should really fix that, like, move that around or something. I think you actually can move that, so that might be my fault. But, uh, claws might be warranted here. Not much of a good hit there. Getting a little better with the switches. I might have had uh, the torture element on when I was shooting. I apologize. And we're gonna have to flick here. It was a little late there. There we go. Yeah, see, it is very hard for these people to make it through here. The Ellie is really helpful for Castle Wars for flag running, but obviously when you have the flag on you, you don't have that option because the flag is two-handed. So 
So I don't know if this person was really trying to capture the flag, but most of these people we should be able to mow down pretty quickly here. I don't. I think more people should use smite um, really on castle wars. I don't understand why people don't. I mean, if you smite someone, they're gonna die within seconds. Like this guy, we should really be smiting him. And he put the barricade down there, so I gotta be really careful here. If he wants to get the flag, I should probably look into ZGS backing, which I could do right here. ZGS is really helpful for that purpose. Um, okay, I froze him at the ladder, which is not ideal, but I'm just gonna stay up there and whack him when I can. Not enough time to switch and do that there, but he will take the damage from being up here. Gonna try whip here, maybe I can get two hits in. Looks like he's gonna go run for it now. Barricade? No, I think we're good. Whip is definitely best when they have their defenses down like this. I mean, he's just wearing, um... He's wearing range armor for magic defense, and he's playing melee. So the bow should be able to rip into him here. Like I said, Crystal Bow does have the same accuracy as the Armadal Crossbow when you're not wearing a shield. And it is a little bit faster. It is actually whip speed. So it's useful in Castle Wars when you consider the extra accuracy. But it's also just fun to use in, you know, an old school weapon. So there's so much activity going on down here, and it's you gotta really figure out who you need to attack and who you need to ignore. Uh, we're gonna go for this guy. He's using the probably using the Staff of the Dead effect of reducing melee damage and with him praying mage here we can really rip into him. He's praying mage to protect from mage. Um, Staff of the Dead effect to survive melee attacks, but nothing against range, so range is really critical for a castle, whereas really all the combat styles are. Same with this guy. Uh, this guy we're gonna Elder Maul, because he is just, he's not praying melee and he doesn't have the staff here. Uh, we're gonna switch back here. And hopefully we can rip into him a little bit. I like that guy using a BGS back just to get his defense down. Like, I have a Dragon Warhammer for that purpose, just... Um, not enough spec energy. You don't get spec energy back if you die. And nice, I snapped him there. Who knows what that could have saved. Here's people shooting people where they don't even realize. I'm on the other side of the wall and you could just shoot them right through. Even though this guy's praying, he's not going to be able to live for very long. Um, did someone just go up? This guy? No. He's probably not going to live for very long. Let's take a look up here. Uh, someone was just coming. Yeah, this is that same girl. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to claw spec here, so we're gonna try it. No, shit. Uh, she switched her prayer, but I didn't hit very high. A little better with these switches today. They have a very limited amount of food they could bring here, which is the advantages, so you, any damage you can do is important, even if you're not KOing. If I can hit a couple 20s here before she goes up, that would make a huge difference. Like that right there, 23. See if I can get one more at least. It's hard to get the KOs when they're you can have you can eat bandages as fast as you can click, so it's kind of a unique food. Like you can go like this, like boom, that's like 300 HP or something. I just healed with the um, Castle Wars brace. You don't actually need to wear the Castle Wars brace once the game starts. By the way, you just need to be wearing it when the game begins. You could actually just drop it now, but I just save it for the next game because inventory isn't really critical here. Might as well repot as well, it's about time. It's like, gotta take care of this noob really quick. Maybe one more hit. Probably could have shot that guy, but we can shoot this guy. Doesn't even know it's hitting him. All the way over there. So that's what things you couldn't do with like a blowpipe. <laughs> we got a range battle here. But he's gonna pray and make it up. Okay. Stop worrying about that do noob. And we're gonna. Might be warranted to spec here. I think he's, she's frozen already, but that was just. wasn't worth taking a risk. Uh, two. When two people are trying to steal the flag at the same time, that's really when or three in this case, that's when things are going to be most dangerous. I'm out of prayer, I'm not sure if I should go get more. This is going to be really tough. I'm going to try to get a little bit of prayer before they come down. 
that the flag is taken right now. Ugh, I don't have a ZGS back either. There's not much I can really do here other than maybe I'll put a barricade here. Stall them a little bit. Uh, there's already 10 barricades up. Okay, there's one. Just gonna work with what I have right now. Make her switch, hopefully. Can't find the bow. There we go, that's a good hit. I wonder how Twisted Bow would be on other players. I think it'd be pretty bad, because they can only have 99 magic. Um, is the flag up there? I really hope it is. I don't see it. Or is it already gone? I am. There it is, okay. Thank god. Alright, that was probably their best shot they had when that many people were coming at the same time. They probably could have had the flag there. Alright, here they come. That was without... Um, piety. Still in my hit there. She's definitely going to want to come back up pretty soon. I do have the ZGS spec if I need it. Not sure what the barricade configuration is here. Yeah, she's still down here. The cliffs. Almost snipes. Could do some cleanup here. Although this guy's probably not worth the time, because he's not gonna steal a flag in Bandos. Get a cheap shot in there. Nice ancestrals on that guy. Let's take a look out here. At around one and a half minute left, it becomes impossible to score, so that's when you can stop worrying about it. That guy has the Ring of Recoil effect on, I guess. Good switches there, even though my... Oh, <laughs> I forgot to turn Piety on, that's a problem. There we go, 22. Alright, so the flag is safe, it looks like we're gonna be okay. I can clean this guy up real quick, get some easy kills. <laughs> Two hit this guy, maybe? Right through his iron armor. He's not gonna be living for much longer. That should be dead. Yep, Let's see if it, about this guy. We could do something funny here. The reason I brought this is you can hit uh, up there. Here we go. Yep. I loved, used to love doing this back in the day with the Dragon Halberd. You can hit people up there with um, the Crystal Halberd, or rather the Dragon Halberd back then. Two minutes, still have to be a little concerned here if someone gets the flag, like literally right now. Might be worth claw specking. Somebody. But the flag is safe right now, I don't think they have time. But we probably should try claw specking this dude. Hopefully you won't see it. If your piety lasts this long. Boom, okay, that's actually a pretty good spec. Nice. <laughs> like one hit him practically. Can we two hit this guy? We're out of prayer though. Come on. Oh, actually, I actually am out of run. Oh, rip. <laughs> yeah, that's probably going to do it for this Castle Wars game. Looks like it's definitely going to end in a tie here. Uh, like I said, that's pretty predictable. And nowadays with Castle Wars, there's so much stuff people can do to make games end in a tie that uh, it's really not surprising when it does happen. Couldn't find the mall there. But yeah, this was a fun game. I'm glad at least we didn't uh, let them score in that little moment when they had like four people up there. I really thought they were going to break through and uh, and do it, but we managed to hold them off. Uh, a lot of people on me here, so this is a good time to use the Ellie. But the game is over, and um, yeah, now you get two tickets when the game ties. I think you used to get one and zero if you lost. Now you always get tickets um, no matter what, so you can definitely get things a lot quicker. Let me actually just show you guys how many tickets do I have. Let's take a look here. 96. So we actually almost have 100. So definitely played a number of games. But yeah, you can check the scoreboard here, actually. 
um, wins this season. So Zamorak is actually losing. I'm not sure what season means, like, how long is that? Maybe, I don't know if they literally mean season or month or whatnot. Um, but uh, what can you can you actually buy now from Lanthus? I think they added a couple new things here. Oh uh, yeah, the Halos. So I actually could buy one. Let's take a look. What does this do? I think it gives the prayer bonus. I used to have one of these in pre-OC. Yeah, three prayer. But I th it might give another effect. Let me check, actually. Yes, this doesn't give any other effects. I think a little music piece actually played when I bought it. Let me try that again. You can sell stuff back for equal price, so... There's never um, a harm in doing that. Nope, it didn't play this time, so... Alright, I think that's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you guys like this Cast Wars series, that unofficial series I've done for quite some time now. Every year or so I make a Cast Wars video at least. So um, I always have fun playing this mini game. It's a fun like PvP environment where there actually is like a goal and um, you don't have to lose your items as well so you can use your, your best gear. So like this video if you enjoy guys, subscribe if you haven't already, click the little bell next to the sub button if you want to get notifications whenever I upload. You can also join the clan chat. The clan chat is Andrew AJT62 um, right there as you see there and join the Discord in the description. That goes along with the clan shot really well, or if you already have a clan shot, you can join the Discord. And um, also follow me on Twitter down below and Twitch TV for occasional live streams. So I'll see you guys later. Have a good one, guys. And um, yeah, stay safe out there. And I'll see you guys later.